gamers! This is an interesting week to say the least. Oh my god. Welcome to This Week in Genshin, your favorite Genshin news show. I'm your boy Luca Tony, and let's get started. So what happened last week in the community? Wow, we what an absolute nuclear news story this week, but Karina Butger, I'm sorry about butchering that. The voice actor for Paimon hasn't been paid in months since December for their work for the game. They're even at risk of becoming homeless, and they said they couldn't afford a lawyer to demand for this payment right away. I don't think I need to explain why this is extremely messed up. Uh, I will clarify though, it's important to clarify that this isn't the direct fault of Hoyverse, as they contract work to studios abroad for their voiceover work, so it could have been an error at any point of the chain. Uh, regardless, at the end of the day, this is one of Hoyverse's most iconic characters and voice actors, so even if it wasn't their fault, they should definitely be taking matters into their own hands and ensure something like this doesn't happen again. With that said, just because Karina is voicing Paimon doesn't mean that every other voice actor that has been affected by this, because yes, there are other people affected by this, just because Paimon is so integral to the story doesn't mean Karina should get any better treatment. Everyone should be paid for their missing work. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just very, very messed up. So yeah, hopefully Karina and the other actors affected get properly compensated. And whoever is responsible for this mess up gets their act together. This is all happening in the middle of the Hollywood Writers and Actors Union strike, uh, which really, you know, shows that the creative fields are usually screwed over. And that the game industry, especially that of voice acting, desperately needs some increase in unit work. And there was an update just as I was editing this. The Hoyaverse issued a statement regarding the missing VA payments. They said, we truly regret to learn about the ongoing situation. Genshin Impact values and respects the work and effort of everyone involved, and we support our voice actors to claim their proper due. We have made payments to our recording studio on time, and we immediately urge the studio to pay our voice actors from our past payment. Meanwhile, we are also seeking alternative solutions, and we will keep you posted on further developments. I think this really just kind of nails down that it wasn't Toyoverse's fault at all. It was the fault of Formosa, the company that uh, hired all these voice actors to work for Genshin. And uh, yeah, it, I, it also reads very much to me that uh, we're also seeking alternative solutions. It reads very much like uh, we, I don't think they're going to work with Formosa anymore or they are trying to make direct payments to the voice actors. Uh, so uh, yeah, this seems like a huge turnaround, a huge W for uh, Hoyaverse here. Good stuff all around. And yeah, that's that's all I got for this mission. Like, it was a, it was a quick turnaround and uh, yeah, a good, good news story from sad to good. Another sad news, if you've been wondering where Tsikyo, Dawn, uh, and x -Lies have been, well, I have some potentially bad news. They have been and currently are sick with something they had no idea what it is. XLyze posted on Thursday that Dawn had some pretty intense pneumonia, even to the point of being hospitalized, which she thankfully made a recovery from. However, XLyze got sick immediately after Dawn was discharged and has felt extremely bad since, some of the worst stuff since he remembers when he was a kid, according to him. He went to the urgent care, but all tests for common infections came negative, so he will just have to wait and see if he develops more symptoms to have a better conclusion. Hopefully it doesn't have to come to that, he can just get better from here on out, uh, we will just have to wait and see. If you're just hearing about this for the first time, go to Twitter or his comment section and drop in some love to help him cheer him up and recover faster. You got this, Mr. X Slice. Moving on to happier news, this got a kitten and is adorable. Her name is Ahsoka and I would die for her. A story I missed last week was that M-Tash made a classic goodbye for now video. I actually didn't know that he had pivoted from Genshin to Diablo content until I saw this video and its subsequent follow-up. On Wednesday, he posted a video talking about how after his break from Genshin for the past two months, he is now enjoying it again due to Fontaine's new content looking promising, and that Genshin-like games like Wuthering Waves and other gacha games in general is something he still plays and wants to make content on regularly. So maybe in about a month, we see M-Tash return from his 11th quit from the game. Meming aside, I relate a lot to his explanation of his burnout and the small details that I didn't know about his life that he divulged into the video, which explains a lot about his mentality and gave me a kind of new respect for the man. So it's a bit worth watching, especially if you like his content. Go check it out. And finally, worth, uh, you know, bringing back up, the Fontaine leaks got apparently even more extreme, which practically, you know, the whole 4.0 being leaked. So once again, be careful with your Twitter and Reddit use for the next month if you're trying to stay spoiler free. Only one month away until Fontaine releases, so uh, hold strong, everyone. So what happens next week? The Spiral Abyss resets on Saturday and it isn't changing, so uh, for those who has still have fun with the Spiral Abyss, go crazy, I guess. 
A new event called Adventures Trials Advanced, which is a bunch of little fun minigames, Windblum style, uh, is coming out next week. Uh, it seems alright, it has a co-op, so it could be fun, you know, to run with friends, but, uh, yeah, who has those, huh? And to follow up on last week as well, Honkai Star Rail 1.2 will arrive on Wednesday 19th. Kafka and Blade are coming to the game, but who cares about them? Because I, myself, Luca, I'm going to be added into the game. Like, look, I, oh my god, he's so sick. And that's it. Literally nothing else will happen next week. Uh, Sleeper Genshin update time uh, before Fontaine. Nothing else to expect. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I think there's gonna be another trailer for Fontaine. Maybe it's the copium hitting right now. But I think there's gonna be some underwater exploration video or something along those lines. Kind of what we had for Sumeru for the Dendro reactions and the Dendro Traveler. So uh, yeah, if you if you wanna know when that goes live and uh, you know keep up to date with future news, you should definitely subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that subscriber bell thingy that people tell you to do. And uh, yeah, I appreciate the support. This week's featured video is the quite nostalgic and funny video Are there even 1.0 Genshin Splitter that will remember this by Akish, Akishot, Akishot, something like that. And yes, chess respawning and M-Tash are mentioned in here. It's a worthy watch. I would highly recommend it. Thank you everyone for watching. Like mentioned earlier, go give Mr. X Slice some love and you might be able to catch him playing Among Us with Dish, Tuanto, Bao, and more tomorrow at 7 p.m. PST. One last editing update. Dish has postponed the Among Us game night uh, to a new date. We don't know when that is. So uh, if you wanna catch them when they do that, uh, you should probably follow them on Twitter. I feel like this new show is cursed because the second I start Twig back up, um, everything kind of falls apart again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we will see what next week holds. Uh, knock on wood. <laughs> all right, I'm just rambling. I'm gonna let y'all go. Have a great weekend. Love y'all. See you next week.